Hey guys, Jeff here, Ghost Knight Gaming, and we are introducing another Smite God, and as cute as me she may be, this is Skyla, the uh, uh, sea monstery girl. Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at her abilities, and then we're going to get into the fray and see what trouble uh, this little one can cause. So, a quick learner. Uh, each of her abilities gains an additional effect uh, at max rank. In addition, uh, she gains 20 magical power for each max rank ability. So basically, level 20, she's going to get an extra bonus 80 to her magic ability, just for maxing out all of those. That's pretty scary once you look at uh, uh, some of the stuff that she can do. So Sikkim uh, is a line attack. She sends two hounds forward, damaging, rooting, and crippling the first enemy hit. At max rank, two additional enemies nearby the first target will also be hit. So that kind of gets scary once that gets to level 5. Uh, crush. Uh, she creates a magical field that slows enemies. And after 5 seconds, it detonates, causing damage. Uh, she can activate the ability again to detonate it early. So can it quickly just hit uh, people to kind of get out of the way, in the way. So at max rank, enemies in the area uh, also have their magic protection reduced. So it makes it uh, harder for them to defend because it actually, you know, it'll hit all that much harder. And targets hit by the damage are slowed for an additional second. So once again, preventing them from being able to escape after the effect is triggered. Uh, Sentinel is a ward and a leap. So uh, at uh, passively, while it's active, uh, she gains mana per second. Actively, she summons a sentinel to the target area, granting vision to uh, of enemies. Uh, she may activate the ability again within five seconds to move to the sentinel location. So this is a great way to both uh, evade and move around. So at max ranks, um, the vision granted through the line of sight block is through line of sight blockers, and placement range increases. So she can set it out further away, and she can uh, she can actually uh, see through uh, walls that might be blocking that route. So what we're going to want to do with her, in addition to some of the customization and item building we're going to do with her, we want to actually take a look at the abilities and while working them up, we want to make sure that uh, those abilities work up. Oh, I got to grab that one. So I'm a monster. <laughs> that kind of says it all. Uh, ground target. So she reveals her true nature, becoming uh, uh, crowd control immune for the next six seconds, gaining movement speed. Uh, she may make one powerful attack during this time. She kills an enemy god. Uh, she gains another six seconds and may attack again. So this is really scary if you're able to time this well with a couple of really well-placed kills. You can uh, get in uh, a fair bit of damage. And if you look at its actual damage per hit, it's almost titanic, the amount of damage it does including the bonus that she'll get as things start getting better. All right, and at max rank, her movement speed does well, so she gets in and out quickly. All right, so let's go pick this up. So we're going to start with increasing her mana projection because we're going to want her... There we go. So let's get in here and start throwing our attacks around. Okay, so the ward is in place. You know what? Let's just hit somebody now. Okay. Alright, you're going down before I do. No. Oh, okay. Well, I went down first. <laughs> I lose. Oh, well. Minions have reached your <gasps> They've reached our portal. Now what are we going to do? I know. Eat them. Yes. That is what Scalar is going to do. She's going to eat them all. Alright. So we're going to... Okay, so... Oh, that almost wasn't very nice. Okay, so we're going to look at the placement for that. Let's put that in place. Let it do its thing. Oh, hi. There we go. We got somebody. And we got a level. So we're going to quickly work this one up. I want to I level this one up nice and quick here. Okay, we need to get out of there. Because we don't want to stick around to where he's going to hit us. It kind of yips at stuff. Haha. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're almost there, but that's fine. So I need to be, I think, a couple of levels higher before I can max that out, but we're going to get a damage boost uh, fairly soon here. There we go. Let's help our team with that. Okay, so we're going to look at some minion control for a second here. Uh, L not as good on minion control I'm finding compared to some other mages because uh, a lot of her focus is on really hard singular hits alright so we're going to use that for detection 
Oh, that's not a spot I wanted to be in. I got rooted. We're going to want to avoid that. Alright. However, this one is really good for dealing with minions. I'm going to just do some damage to those guys. There we go. So that's uh, leveled up. So there we go. We already got uh, bonus 20 magic, and I haven't had to do a whole heck of a lot to it. So... Yeah, so building up our, our magic power and uh, our magic per second is going to be a great way for her to... Uh, yeah, so see, uh, now it's hitting multiple foes. Yeah, you pick a bad spot to stop there. Okay, so we're going to do this. Oh, no, no. Oh, I missed. Because I uh, over-aimed. <laughs> Got to watch your, your aiming reticle to see where you need to hit and what you need to hit. All right, so grabbing this, this is going to give me a, a good 20% uh, cooldown reduction. So a lot of my stuff is going to trigger a whole lot quicker. And that is a good way to get uh, get in there. So I'm going to go up this one. So I want to get this. Its passability is uh, increased magic power by 25%. Now take into account that I've already added uh, you know, 20 uh, magic power to my abilities as we speak. Uh, because of mastering uh, her first, uh, uh, mastering Sikkim. I'm now going to uh, be able to take that, and, and at the very least, right there, that's an extra, uh, that's a bonus uh, uh, five extra magic power right there, just from what that has, not including what she's already gained for... All right, we're going to need to get out of here because we're getting chased pretty hardcore here. All right. So let's go, let's put that there, and let's move to it. So that we can pick on these guys. Alright, uh, this is not working according to plan. Time to run! Haha. -ha. Hmm, that seems to be a problem. Alright, let's go help them deal with minions, since minion control seems to be a dilemma this game. Okay, so, you're in range, I'll pick on you. Okay, all right, one more of those should help us get a couple more gods down. There we go, so a couple of nice uh, assists there as we press against our enemies. So we're going to, let's move that one up a bit. All right, they're coming. Well, it deals with the minions. They all seem to want to avoid that little encounter with us, so... And I'm okay with that. There we go. Just take that out so I can take those guys out. Okay. Well, let's get into the fray. Hit them as much as we can. So keeping the pressure on your, your enemies is uh, integral to uh, <laughs> keeping them off your back. Oh, and he missed. That was kind of terrible. Now, the nice thing about that one is I was able to uh, hit both uh, a, a enemy, uh, an enemy uh, god and deal with this thing. So we're going to want to make sure this doesn't get to the back because we don't want to lose a ton of points that way. Oh, hello. We're going to avoid him. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna just pick on this thing for a bit. We may have to go back and retreat after we finish this thing off. But there we go. So we have two things maxed out. So there we go. That's uh, an extra 20 uh, magic power. So once I buy this upgrade, which I should be close. No, not quite. Damage for the win. <laughs> for the win. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we need. Oh, wait. Oh, I can buy a relic. We should buy our relics. Always remember to buy your relics. They can make or break a game. I like buying meditation. Uh, it's a bit of extra healing and mana restoration. Uh, basically, it just... And it also affects your allies. So that makes it uh, very useful on that end. Oh, almost caught her. Oh, and then she decided to use up her ultimate on that. There we go. We're not letting her get away. Like so. And see, so there's uh, there's the trigger to be able to do it twice. Um, 
You know, so there's the benefit of actually doing that. I don't want you to escape. Just like that, triple kill. So now that my damage is really starting to amp up uh, between just uh, level the, uh, the abilities increasing in ability or in damage, we're going to see uh, kind of a change on how this goes. I'm going to... I'm going to be doing a whole lot more to these guys, and they're going to have a whole lot less to be able to do to me. Oh, hey. We have a target-rich environment here. Let's just not get caught up in their area effects. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. There we go. Got you all. See, and the nice thing about that one is it does, uh, you know, uh, root them down, so it makes it easier for your uh, your allies to get in there and help out, right? Cause they can uh, they can finish the job if if you aren't able to. Oh, got one. We're gonna level that up first. Uh, I wanna level up. I'm a monster before I use it again. That way, I get the most out of it because it'll do a a ton of damage. And there you go. They just kind of explode. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Uh, Kakulkon is within my realm of damage to do, but we're just going to leave him. I wasn't going to be able to chase him down anyway. Hmm. So let's throw that in there while he tries to retreat, throw some damage at them. And then let's come in with I'm a monster. So it wasn't enough to finish him off, but this may get us close. There we go. So I'm going to put that over there to observe. And I'm going to retreat. So if you want a good way to move around the battlefield relatively quick, that is a good way to do it. Uh, take advantage of the ability. Uh, hopefully before they all show up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab this. We're going to get a, a nice nice big damage boost there. Uh, I actually want an even better damage boost. Like these two um, aren't too bad. Plus 100 magic power. That one plus 100 magic power. So if you take into account, I've already got an extra 20 plus, I'm going to get, I'm getting an extra 25%. Buying one of those is actually equivalent to getting 125. So let's grab that. Because I want to level up. I'm a monster. All right. We have a target rich environment here. So we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to root you in place. And you, oh, you survived. I think she just called it Zoe. Oh, and I missed him again. Oh, no. Sobek completely escaped me. That was terrible. I thought I had that guy. Okay, I got him, though. Okay, well... Poo on that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I should have watched my health, but, you know. Oh, uh, well. So, I'm sitting at level 18 right now. So, fast leveling is uh, a key to getting a, a, a fair bit of a, a, an edge on your, your enemies. Now, she says damage for the win, and that is right. Because this has an, uh, another side benefit for mastering that particular weapon. Uh, or upgrade, is that it actually, every time I do damage with one of my uh, abilities, it does bonus damage. So in addition to the damage I'm working up towards because, you know, I just upped my damage even more, I'm getting bonus damage on top of that. So, there you go. Just like that, two kills. Anybody still around? No, nope, there's nobody in the area. So yeah, if you can, that is a, a, a almost surefire way. And there we go, damage just boosted up again. That is a surefire way to get a pentakill at the right timing. Is to, to basically stack all of that up. And once that triggers, you just watch them all fall. Now as it is, I'm already uh, looking at uh, some of these guys just going down. Uh, or at least very close to. There we go. And this is where uh, I should actually, because of the nature of how she builds, I know what I should be grabbing. Besides getting out of there. <laughs> that didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, next time we escape and run for the hills. So another good um, 
piece of equipment, especially for her to buy, is actually this one here, the Spear of Desolation. Is what it has as a extra benefit. There we go, level 20. So now my damage, uh, my passive is now capped to uh, the bonus damage that I've got. I might eventually get out there. Uh, but what this one does is if you uh, master this one, uh, every time you kill an enemy god with one, of, all your cooldowns are reduced by eight seconds. This cannot activate more than once every 30 seconds. But when you uh, take that ultimate and uh, hasten when it comes out, uh, in addition to the other cooldown reduction I already have, and I can grab more, uh, I can do I can do some pretty terrible things and do it fairly often. Oh, oh, I clipped him. So, yeah, so right there you just basically saw a titanic amount of damage just get thrown in on these guys. Two kill, two rather easy kills. And there we go, we got the third for the killing spree, and that finishes them off. So, uh, like, she has some very, very high damage potential uh, once you start stacking the right equipment together. And getting that build up really quickly. So in this mode, it's more focusing on god kills, but in other modes, to build up her experience quickly, you basically want to put her in a lane where she can both face off against gods that may not be expecting her damage and with lots of opportunity for minion kills. Because if she can get a ton of kills, she can get a ton of experience fairly early on in the game and better improve her chance of getting to those higher levels quickly to master those abilities to improve her damage to keep the cycle going in her favor. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys will check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel to see more introductions like this, and I will see you guys again next time. Have fun, guys. Keep gaming.